Alright, what's up guys? I'm just gonna talk about the new GTA DLC real quick. Um, it's bad, and uh, I wanna let you guys know my opinions on this garbage-ass shitty DLC. So, I don't even have any footage from the DLC, so you guys can see background footage from my GTA Funny Moments video. That's how bad this DLC is. So, let's, uh, let's jump into the first thing with the new vehicles. So, here we are on Legendary Motorsport. The Pipistrello is only available to GTA Plus members, and the other cars are pretty mid- they're just not really worth buying. Save your money. Maybe get the Neob and the the Euros. Maybe those are probably the only two on the website right here that are worth buying. Uh, they both have HSW, okay customization. They're fun to drive. There you go. Uh, we only got one new vehicle here, the truck. It's not very good. There's not much customization. It's it's whatever. I mean, if you like trucks, maybe. But I just don't. I it sucks. Don't buy it. I mean, no. And then, um, three more cop cars that are overpriced as fuck. Uh, that are really not worth buying at all. Uh, but don't waste your money. There's multiple requirements that you need to get the trade prices, which the game doesn't even list all of them at once. Which is really fucking stupid, for one. And then the next thing is... Zero dollar resale value. Like, what the fuck, Rockstar? You're, you're gonna so you're gonna punish people people who are just minding their own business because I, I know this is they're they're doing this to prevent people from duplicating the vehicles and selling them for money. So you harm the players who are minding their own business. Fucking bullshit. And then next, uh, well, there's the envision the 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 whatever. How the fuck you pronounce it? It's cool. I like it. The performance is eh, at best. I mean, if you like the car, buy it. But you know, I uh, the Euros looks good. I was actually really happy about this one because I've been waiting for a car like this. Customization's okay. It's got HSW. HSW isn't that great, so I would probably not buy the HSW. But yeah, there's that. Uh, yeah, and then um, there's the the Neob. It's cool. Uh, it's uh, if you get the HSW, it's really fast. I don't have HSW because I'm not spending any more money on this shitty ass DLC. And um, I just want to mention real quick the uh, the business itself overpriced as fuck, especially considering the payouts, which we are about to get right now. Uh. The well, the the highest paying out one is still only like a little over hundred thousand dollars, and you have to wait a full twenty four hours to do one of those for the most wanted. And then the payouts, as you can see, are pretty shit, considering the business is two million dollars, and with everything, the business is about four and a half to five million dollars, which is um just just fucking no. Like this this is so bad. Like how. I don't even know what to say at this point. It's like, how how could Rockstar get any worse than this, dude? This is so bad. Like, uh, anyways, and next, they added some nice little features like claiming your business earnings, but they locked it behind GTA Plus for fuck's sake. Why? Why? This should just be something that everyone can do. This is fucking retarded, Rockstar. You guys are so scummy. This is just fucking stupid. Uh, I don't have any more pictures or anything, so you could just watch this. I will keep on going on about everything else. Uh, they fixed the telescope glitch where you could, like, merge hats, certain hats, masks, and other stuff, which has been in the game for, like, ten years now. Um, and it was a harmless glitch that people really enjoyed. And they fucking patched it. Um... I mean... It's just... Uh, I, I don't know, dude. This is bad. And I stayed up for this DLC. It was not worth it. And I spent, like, almost all my money. I had $15 million. I wasted my money on this shitty DLC. Like... I'm so disappointed. I just... I, I almost have no... I, I, I have, like, no words. I don't know what to say at this point. I've covered pretty much everything, which isn't much, 
Uh, oh, there's the dispatch work if you have a police car. How much does it pay out? 25k. When you pay 3 to 5 million dollars for a cop car. Yeah. I know. Rockstar has gotten so bad at this point, I just, I, I don't know. I don't know how he continue to play this game, really. Um, yeah, so to, to anyone who hasn't tried out the DLC, don't come back to the game to play it. It's not worth it. And, uh, apparently, I guess Rockstar was saying this was going to be a big DLC. No. No. Yeah, there is more stuff coming. But it's still not really that great. It's not really going to add much to the game, and the payout's probably going to be horrible as well. And then, um... Yeah, I just... Uh, I don't know. I guess, uh, next thing I could talk about... They did fix some stuff from the last DLC, um, with some of the vehicles. Like... The the illusion they fixed the the missing headlight glass on one side. The Vigero ZX convertible the the rear window or one of the rear windows actually goes down now when you put the roof down. Uh, and then the Astro GZ the suspension options are now there and the front bumper is fixed. Uh, there have there are three more vehicles with drift tunes: Nebula Turbo, the Cipher, and the Sentinel Classic wide body, which is cool I guess for anyone who's interested in that stuff and likes drifting. And they added some more liveries to certain cars, but only if you buy the drift tunes, which I think is retarded as fuck. But here we are. It's Rockstar, so they don't make any fucking sense. Um, and, um, yeah, I don't know if you could call that stuff good or not. Maybe? I don't know. The quality control here is so bad now. I think this is why a lot of people are worried for GTA 6. It's like, sure, probably most of the team is working on GTA 6. How the company is right now, or the people that are working on GTA 5 still, not giving people hope. And that's not good. Like, that that's not what you want. And they're making some really poor business decisions. Like, why are you locking really essential features or just good features behind a $7 subscription? It's so retarded. And then you expect to keep people around when you release shitty DLCs like this. It's not even worth spending any of your money on it. I feel bad for anyone who bought shark cards or saved up a lot of money and wasted their money on this fucking DLC. This is ridiculous. I, I just... I, I... I have no other words for this, man. This is why, like, I only play this game to play it with my friends. And not actually, you know... Like, do anything. Oh yeah, and on top of that... Uh, the... Bambushka and the Sparrow have received an armor buff that is so pathetic that they might as well not even have done it. It barely makes any fucking changes, so that, uh, I mean, there you go. There's that. I, I think that's really it. It's just this DLC is so bad. I don't know what's worse, this or the Mercenaries DLC? The Mercenaries is bad for the fact uh, that they removed almost 200 cars from the websites. That's the main reason why that DLC was bad. The Chop Shop DLC wasn't the greatest, but at least you could actually still make some good money if you just kept on playing. Like, the Sao Jardim Arbys, yeah, sure there's only three. And that's like a million dollars. That's not too bad. And then there's the Cluckenbell Raid, which you can do every 48 minutes. And that gives you $500,000 and only takes like an hour to set up. So that's not bad money, and it's... it's yeah, it can get a little tedious, but it's at least still something that can be enjoyable, or, like, friends, and, you know, it's just, this DLC is so bad. It's just, Rockstar has reached a, a, a new low with this DLC, man. It's like, I can't understand how some people are okay with this, especially, um, Gunner.
my friend. I don't know how he's okay with the DLC, because it's bad. It is complete and utter fucking garbage. I just... I, I, I don't know, that's, that's all I gotta say. I mean, I'm sure there's more I could say, but I just can't think of it. If there's anything else that you guys know from other channels that have made con that have said anything or that just you found out yourself or whatever, then comment it down below. And also, I want to hear I want to hear your guys's opinion on the DLC. But yeah, that's all I have for you. Thank you guys for watching. Get to like and subscribe, and um, yeah, don't don't play the DLC.